Uh, I'm Chrissy Naranzi. I'm currently a reader and academic CPD at Manchester Metropolitan University um, and uh, a Gojian alumna and had the pleasure to be in the first cohort of fellowships that were awarded uh, through this important network. Um, it was a collaborative project um, developed based on an idea I had on creating a collaborative picture book around the values of open education. So I worked with uh, Helen Pulka, Verena Roberts, Paula Corti, Gino Franzman, Penny Bentley, uh, Brian Mathers, O.D. Frank and Sanasis Frank. I think that's a difficult question, what could be improved? And I'm going to focus on the positive things because what really um, worked well was um, that we were diverse people in different parts of the world with different experiences. And what united us uh, is our passion um, for open education. <clears throat> so we were diverse people who brought diverse uh, experiences and ideas together. And I think that made it um, a success. I also like the idea that we used an evidence uh, informed and evidence based approach to creating a, a picture book, which is perhaps a, a little bit unusual, but fits nicely with working in academia, where we involve the, the wider open education community on, on various aspects of how they felt about open education, what the vulnerabilities and strengths are, and uh, these responses were survey informed um, the co-creation of the picture book so that what we found out was that exploitation uh, and feeling fragile um, was where the, the key vulnerabilities that were illuminated by the community of open practitioners and researchers and the key strengths were um, the social uh, element and the resourcefulness we all have. What was also very interesting um, was that curiosity, generosity and being bold were seen as uh, strengths but also as things that make us uh, more vulnerable. Um, I don't think um, we could have done it uh, differently looking back because our approach was very flexible, uh, I would say maybe even elastic uh, in how we work together uh, and we were very appreciative of each other and I think that characterizes um, what we did, how we worked and uh, is also illustrated in, in the final product. It was that we were all, the whole team, um, while it was an individual fellowship, I turned it into a collaborative project and I was really happy that I did because it enriched um, A, the experience and the journey, as we say, but also the, the output. So the, the diversity of ideas, like I already said, um, helped us and being open to other people's ideas and not just to those who, who instantly agree with us. We had disagreements, um, but they were used in a very constructive and positive way to learn with and from each other. And uh, I think that's when magic happened um, through this open approach. So we were not judgmental. We were accepting and we were celebrating the diversity of ideas that people brought. Yes, we had a key challenge and that was we lost our uh, initial <laughs> illustrator, which I had recruited. Uh, so we needed to think um, very quickly um, and, and be resourceful here as well and creative and coming up with a solution because it was difficult to find um, somebody to replace that uh, initial person. I decided to um, to give it a go <laughs> and uh, do the illustration together with uh, O.D. Frank. And I think that worked quite well. Um, we also reached out to a mentor, to a professional artist, Brian uh, Mathers, who supported um, myself and O.D. in this creative process. Uh, and that was, again, invaluable. It wasn't planned from the outset, but um, um, we felt that uh, it, it was needed and it was definitely beneficial to uh, and enriched our learning uh, in doing something new that we hadn't done before uh, and create something that um, was of, of quality, I think.
Yes, uh, Gojian was there throughout the process. We had critical conversations via email. We uh, had the opportunity to um, to share our, our thoughts with them. Um, we did that and we got and, and the, the product as it was developing the picture book. So at different stages, we we engaged with the Goji N team to get feedback uh, and we got some very critical feedback, I have to say. Um, and I am smiling because often we feel hurt when we get uh, critical feedback, but this is exactly what we needed. Uh, and I know that um, the feedback that was provided um, was in in good spirit. You know, it was constructive, uh, wanting us to do well and create something that will be of value for the wider community. So we had honest and frank conversations, often via email, um, and uh, and very useful feedback. It was an extremely valuable experience. It was done during the pandemic when everybody was busy. So that, I guess, looking back, was a challenge, but an external channel challenge that was beyond our control. But what everybody said who was involved uh, in the uh, pro in, in the creation of the picture book said that was an oasis of, of happiness, if you like, and, and cool creation that they welcomed during these uh, difficult times. Um, so through this inquiry, because it was an inquiry to create um, a, the collaborative picture book, I, I feel that I learned a lot and it created a new uh, new areas for exploration. And we have done it because uh, as a team, we wanted to look into, um, for example, the leadership aspect and how we work together uh, on the picture book. And we have done this and there is something going to be published um, as a as a book chapter. Um, with with Helen, I have been doing that with Helen, uh, and with Paula, for example, we have been looking at how we can use the picture book format uh, more widely in higher education for learning, teaching, and assessment. Uh, and these are two um, mini examples. Um, it has also been translated into multiple languages, etc. Um, my key advice is, well, maybe two things. One, work with others, <laughs> reach out to the network uh, and not only get support, but turn it into a collaborative uh, fellowship, because that's how I think it can grow um, and you can achieve more, I think. And uh, the second one is probably being bold and try something wacky, something different, something new because I know that the GoGN team is supportive of these ideas. So um, I think when, when we try and make novel connections, for example, uh, linking a picture book here with higher education that is used in art and design um, sort of courses, but not more widely from, from what we have seen uh, in the literature, um, try and make novel connections. Yeah, connect the things that uh, don't seem to connect naturally. Uh, and that's where I think the, um, the discoveries are, are made and, and new ideas are generated. And I think that concept also links nicely with what a PhD is. Yes, it was extremely valuable when I was a PhD student and being in the network still uh, after completing that is also important to me. It helps me um, stay up to date with the latest developments uh, in open education, uh, get to know some of the newer, uh, newer voices, if you like, in uh, in open education and new directions and and pathways and research. Uh, I have to stay that say that uh, I'm more in touch with. Um, current other alumni uh, and less with the network um, itself of active PhD students. So this this is something that um, may, maybe GoGN could do something about. I had suggested in the various surveys to to use us more as, as mentors, maybe. If that would be possible, I would be delighted to support somebody. Reach out for help. Um, help others when they reach out for help. 
um, you are not alone in this process and we are very fortunate um, that the GoTN network uh, exists. Uh, it can only grow and evolve if uh, you engage, we all engage uh, and drive change, I think, uh, and innovation. Remember to give back not just to take. Uh, it's very much about reciprocity. Uh, and I think that's how it should be. Um, don't just focus, um, and I'm giving you advice here that I wasn't given. <laughs> uh, don't just focus on your PhD, diversify your activities, because again, that links to what I said a bit earlier. It's important to make novel connections that will then feed and practices that will then feed and inform uh, and shape your doctoral research. So they may seem as distractions. Your supervisors may seem stop doing all these things, but I have found them invaluable uh, and they have informed my research and made the experience much richer. Grateful. I am. I have to say that again. I did say it earlier, but I'm very grateful for the existence of the network, but also for, for um, how it has been operating. You know, it's invaluable. Like I said, for for all of us PhD students, different parts of the world, and I think that's that's another bonus that it's not localized um, or, or focused within uh, a specific institutional settings, and uh, I think that that. Uh, really makes a huge difference, I think, to to how we can reach out to these diverse individuals and diverse research um, that is happening. And I think it also increases the, the evidence uh, base, I think, because we also mesh our work uh, into each other and it's um, it's um, it's more diverse, I think. <laughs>